exploring these little pockets. Welcome back to Exploring, guys. It is uh, March 1st. I'm kind of chomping at the bit to get hiking because we're in one of my favorite spots and uh, just looking for some big brownies today. I have a good feeling about this spot, so we'll see what we can do. Keenan's up ahead of me. We got him on the radios. Have you found a brown yet? And uh, not yet. We'll see what we can do. We'll put the glass up. So let's see if I can give you a little rundown of what we got going on. Kind of pushing up through this draw. We're making our way slowly up. We're really just gonna push up into this area and then over to the right. Try to swoop way up and around and then come back down. But get a lot of good glassing in too. It's easy to overlook them. There's a lot of little hidden patches in here, so. <sighs> All right, see how long it takes us to get on the board. It's about nine o'clock. Not a whole lot going on. We stopped to glass, checked something out, Keen looked at and kind of confirmed nothing was shitty. What we think are sheds are like little teeny pieces of grass. So it's like kind of, what do you call that? Reassuring that if you see a shed out here, you're probably gonna know right away. It's just gonna take a little bit more time. If I can put the spotter away, let's go quick. Where? That little tree right here. The little one? The one to the right. All right, I'm gonna get behind this rock, pull the spotter out. Keenan thinks he may have a shed, so let's find out here. Good glass. <clears throat> I'm about to switch GoPro batteries out real quick, but Keenan did find a little forky. Glass across the ridge, and there's one just sitting there. I don't know if it's really old or just kind of old. It doesn't look giant, but it'll start us off. We'll go side hill around there and go pick it up real quick for you guys. There'll be way less wind on that side, so bear with me. We're making our way up over to Keenan's shed. It's on that side of the hill. There's this one and a little ditch and it's on the other side, so we're basically just going to side hill, check these trees, and then side hill over here, and that shit's on that hill right there. We usually got to get to the top up here before we start finding them, but now it's my turn. I'm looking for an actual brownie though. What is it? The good news, it's not chalk Weatherby. That's brown. Told you. Give me some for that. That's dope, bro. <laughs> First brownie. That's cool. That is smooth. I love a nice brown. Why are they like so? Good work, bro. Chalky chalk dusters out here. Just just white because they don't have a lot of nothing to rub on to get color. That's pretty badass. Can't glass this from the hill behind us. We we're kind of talking about on the way over what it could be. It's nice when they're not chalked out. Brownie. Man, that thing bleached fast. Yeah. You're going to carry that around for the next few hours? No, because if I do, I don't find them. I know. I honestly think that having them on the pack kind of helps. Don't know why that's a superstitious type of thing, though. It's about time. It's trying to go three. Can you put a ring on that? I thought it was a lot smaller than this, to be honest with you. Did you? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be brown either. We got a muffin boy putting one down. I'm going to head up this gulch and try to pick something up. garbage right before you said that I just hooked it off into the hill really? yeah Ooh, that is a beam that wraps around kind of well we kind of looked out we sat down I told you we didn't want to wait too long before we found some more we came around this bend and old I did not like the lift of this area either Dang. could be looking good oh, 
some bones right down in the bottom right here. Chalk. That one does have some age to it. That's a horn nonetheless, number three. <laughs> Camera shy. Oh, the thing is a dust ball. It's sat out here for a minute, it's hurting your hand. I don't really want to deal. It's a perfectly intact shed, honestly. There's nothing it's wrong with shape. it. Yeah, Getting too old, finding too many sheds. I don't like to chalk wad. Those are some like sad. Oh, come on. That's a BB Ghibli. What did, what did I say that day? Kubli Ghibli. Two chalk, one brown. It's alright. It makes it easier. We've been needing something good, and Keenan just said he has a big four. Is this something we could put the spotter on real quick? Yeah, it's fucking sick. Yeah, down. Where's she at? These, uh, yeah. These two junipers right yeah. here. And there's one little one. It's barely a green one, barely visible. Above it. Yeah, up above it to the left a little bit. Yeah. It's down below that to the right, like 40 yards. It's fucking it's lower. Just barely, kind, of, not even hard right, just kind of down to the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's bright. That's pretty, huh? Yep, that looks good. All right, Keenan's guided me into his shed because he's back off in the bottom. Chalk drizzle. Chalk? Yeah, but it's a good lock. Oh, huge front forks. Huge. Giant front forks. What's that, like a two-year-old cat? More like five, buddy. That's a sweet buck, though. Keenan wanted me to come up and get this because he's still down on the bottom, so might as well just pick it up. It's a big old chalker, but we'll take that. It's one of the better horns for today. I think I'm going to glass back into where I just was because it looks much better from this side. This one's falling apart. Keenan's too anxious, he had to come see it. Let's get his reaction. Fucker is big. This is a nice buck though. Definitely. <clears throat> Good pickup on that. Did not ask for better weather. Just after four o'clock, and Keenan went up on the side hill after he picked up his shed, and I really don't like being up there as much when there's really good timber looking stuff down here. So I came back around and I'm gonna hit this timber patch and there's a really long draw that follows all the way to the car. It's like three quarters of a mile. Slow walk these timbers, there's so much green grass already. green grass and there's sign all over of deer so hopefully we'll be lucky with the brown because I've had a really bad day I'd love to be able to turn that around he has been doing good and it was fun I loved coming out but I didn't pick up Jack just keep exploring these little pockets Another reason I wanted to come through here. That's definitely a good sign if you guys ever find water in a big big patch of dry stuff like this. It's definitely a good thing because them deer will hang around it and come to and from from all directions to water. So we might get lucky 
Well, I just found a really good mineral spring. It's filling up in like a concrete tub. Trails are all over. I think that's gonna pretty much round out tonight's video. That was a good good hike. I say tonight, but it was definitely all day. A lot of hiking for me, and I didn't find a lot. Keenan definitely kicked my ass today, which is cool. We found some horns, which is what we're after. It was a good day. I think we found five shits total. Just gonna follow this draw out because we're pretty much done. Thanks for watching, guys.